everybody and welcome back to Music with Meg. I'm Meg and today we're learning about intervals. Music with As we've learnt before, an interval is a gap between two notes. In your grade 5 theory, you'll need to work out intervals above and below an octave. But luckily for you, it's really easy once you know how. Let's get started. To begin with, we're going to draw ourselves a piano keyboard of one octave and name the notes if you need to. This is going to help us visualise and work out our intervals. First, we're going to take a look at two notes on the stave and work out our interval. Remember, when you're counting intervals in this way, you need to include the starting note. So for these two notes, we've got E and B flat. So including E, we're going to count up the stave one, two, three, four, five. Simple. We know that this is a fifth. But now we need to work out what type of interval this is. Working out types of intervals is all about semitones. You need to learn how many semitones each interval has. To do that, I've created this handy chart for you. And you can download this chart at my coffee page, coffee.com forward slash music with Meg. Back to our example. We know it's a fifth, but as you can see from my chart, there are three different types of fifths. We've got a perfect fifth, an augmented fifth, and a diminished fifth. A perfect fifth is an interval of seven semitones. To augment this interval, make it bigger, we add one semitone, eight semitones. And to diminish or make smaller the interval, we take away one semitone. So one semitone from seven is six semitones. This is where we're going to use that keyboard we drew earlier. We're gonna start on E and we're gonna count semitones until we reach B flat. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six semitones. So now we know that this interval is a fifth and it's diminished. It's a diminished fifth. Let's do some more examples. Take this interval. Let's count the gap between the notes on the stave. It's a sixth. And now let's take the notes on the piano keyboard and count the semitones. Nine semitones, which means it's a major sixth. And now this one. I'm gonna leave you to do this one by yourself, so pause the video if you need. Did you get it? It's a minor second. How about this one? Pause if you need to. Did you get it? It's a minor seventh. Now let's try drawing some intervals. We're gonna draw a stave or staff and a bass clef. And we're gonna start with F sharp. Now for your first interval, I want you to draw a major third. Top tip for you, with a third, we're always going to move up to the adjacent line or space. So if F is here on this line, we're going to go up to the next line up. So we know that our third is A, now we just need to work out how to make it a major third. A major third is an interval of four semitones. So let's count four semitones up from our F sharp. We've got A sharp. So we just need to add a sharp onto our A to make it a major third. But this is very important. What if we needed to make this interval an augmented third? That's five semitones. A semitone up from A sharp is B natural. But if we put our note on B, that's this space here, our interval is now a fourth and we don't want that. So we need to keep the note on the A line to keep it a third and then we add a double sharp. Whereas a sharp puts the note up by one semitone, a double sharp, which looks like this, puts the note up by two semitones. And this is how we make sure our interval can stay a third. Likewise, if you have the same problem with flats, you can turn a regular flat into a double flat, which sends the note down by two semitones. 
Now so far, all of our intervals have been below an octave, but now we're going to look at intervals above an octave, and there are two different ways we can write these. We can either continue counting up from eight, so we've got a twelfth, a thirteenth, a fourteenth, and so on, or we name the intervals as we did before, third, fourth, fifth, etc., and we add the word compound in front. The word compound here tells us that the interval is over an octave. So a compound third, for example, is a regular third, but the third note is an octave higher. So how do we work these intervals out? Well, it's simple. Let's take a look at an example on the stave. Here we have middle C and B. Now that B is not in the same octave as middle C, so we know that this is going to be one of our compound intervals. We can either work out the distance between the C and the B by counting up the lines and spaces like we did before, and that will give us a 14th. Or we can take that top B and jump it down an octave and work out our interval that way. It's a seventh, a compound seventh. Now we need to find out what type of interval it is. This is where we can use our interval chart as before. And the easiest way to work this out is to take that high note and jump it down an octave and then you can count the semitones just the same as you did before. So between this C and this B, there are 11 semitones. Let's take a look at our intervals chart. 11 semitones makes this a major seventh. Now, if we're labelling this as a compound interval, easy, it's a compound major seventh. And if we're going to label it the other way, as a fourteenth, we know that it's a major fourteenth. Make sense? Let's try a few more together. Here we are in the bass clef. We have a G sharp at the bottom, and all the way up here is C sharp. Let's work out the interval on the stave first. It's an eleventh. Or, if we jump that C-sharp down an octave, we've got ourselves a compound fourth. Now, let's keep that C-sharp down an octave and work out the semitones. Between G-sharp and C-sharp, we have five semitones. So let's take a look at our intervals chart. It's a perfect fourth. If we send that C back up an octave, it's a compound perfect fourth. Or a perfect 11th. Let's try another exercise. This time, draw yourself a stave or staff and a treble clef, and we're going to start with middle C. And now, I want you to work out and write a compound major sixth. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is work out that interval on the stave by counting the lines and spaces. The easiest way to do this is work out your sixth, so that's C, up to A, and then you're going to send that A up an octave. Now let's go to our keyboard and work out the semitones we need to make this compound sixth major. Now a major sixth is nine semitones, so let's count nine semitones from C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Nine semitones. So we don't need to do anything to this note to make it a compound major sixth. Phew! As with everything in music theory, all it takes is practice. And if you would like to do some more intervals practice, you can find some practice sheets on my coffee page at coffee.com forward slash music with Meg. As always, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you'll know when my next video comes. Thank you so much for watching everybody, have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye!